Greetings and salutations. This is in front of Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. And we're having a look at our Adeptus Abates. Um, mm. who, these are the regular infantry for the Abates. Yeah. Um, the, we have three squads, or you can mix them up however you want. Um, typical fashion, um, we have one squad of shotgun armed troops who are assault troops. They're the guys who breach buildings yeah. and go in after um, deals in contraband, stuff like that. Yep. We have a unit of snipers. These are for crowd control. And we have a unit of riot police, which are, um, well, they're riot police. Yeah. They do what they say on the tin. <laughs> um, these are the regular infantry. Each one is himself a marshal, yeah. or a sub-marshal, whatever you want to call it, um, an arbiter, who will go around and um, d d fulfill the orders of, of the marshal. Um, yeah. they're, they're ind individually, they have the rights of, a, of any marshal, um, but in squads, they're, they're obviously a bit more powerful. They, they pack a decent yeah. punch. Yeah. They're designed really for local defence. Um, because it's 40k, we're going to be fighting. Uh, yeah, we're going to be course. fighting. Yeah. We're going to be fighting wars. Yeah. Um, therefore, they will be part of the. They, they will be an elite force of the planetary defense force or whatever in a game. And yeah. Any troops, uh, any army can really have arbiters assigned to them. Yep. So it's an additional elite force, really. Although these are technically troops. Yeah. So we'll go through the shotgun guys first. This is a shot. Actually, that's the medic. So I'll, I'll go to a shotgun guy first. Yeah. This is the shotgun guy here. Who is? There he is. That's the shotgun guy. Right. The shotguns are made out of a standard bolt gun, uh, the modern version of the bolt gun, not the older version, and it's sliced down to make it look more like a shotgun. Yeah. Um, is painted yellow because I went for yellow with all the weaponry with this army. Oh, it was quite good. To make it look a little bit more civilian-y. Yeah. Um, the helmet is actually one of these helmets, uh, yeah. which I have destroyed the, the zoom ability. There you go. This guy is a um, Mechanicus uh, trooper. He's an elite trooper from the Mechanicus army. Um, radiation uh they carry sort of high rad guns and stuff yeah. so um hence the red glow instead of the blue glow but this is the helmet that comes with them yeah you get two sets of helmet gonna add a focus again you get two sets of helmets in the in the mechanicus box one is this helmet which i thought looked quite like an abati's helmet Just a little bit, yeah. and the other lot which are hooded yeah mechanicus yeah so that's the helmet that I went with. That's the helmet there. Yeah. Um, painted black to keep in line with the the army as a whole. Because uh, they're grey grey tunics with black armor. Segments. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, it looks quite good. So what was he then? He's just a shotgun guy. Um, oh, okay. He's carrying a shotgun. Um, so the shotgun is uh, 18 inch range, uh, rapid fire one. Yeah. Um, so which means that if when within half range, you get to fire twice. Alright. Um, and 18-inch range if you're using it as an assault weapon. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's okay. It's, it's a decent decent weapon. It, it uh, strength three for uh, the rapid fire version. Solid shot is strength four. So it's a little bit more impact if you're fighting anyone like uh, Space Marines or stuff like that. I don't think yeah. it making any difference to Space Marines. Um, no, not really. Um, it only has a minus one on solid shot no. to armour, so mm. you, 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 you're going to die if you fight Space Marines. <laughs> um, but against Tyranids, stuff like that, yeah, a right. bit, more, yeah. bit more of a punch. Um, yeah. And against normal civilians and cultists and stuff, they'd be great. Yeah, good point, yeah. But actually, I'm not looking forward to using this army against <laughs> Chaos. So, um, <laughs> It's going to be a waste of time. Yeah. Uh, the backpacks all come from the Mechanicus box. Uh, the Mechanicus have loads of these backpacks. Yeah. And you end up with a few spare. So that's what I've I've done with uh, the Mechanicus. Have been a godsend, really. Yeah. Um, so the uniform here is the standard Imperial Guard uniform that you get in the KDO Shock Troop box. Yeah. And I will 
move on until I get to a ski on. There we go, that's a ski on. This is an officer. Um, all the guys without helmets are the are from the chaos box. Oh. Um, that's the chaos faceplate with the breather mask. Yeah. So they're all from the chaos box that I'm using on these figures. And he's got the a robot arm because he's had his arm shot off. Yeah. And this is the ski on um, from the Astro Militar. Uh, the ski on sort of special jump troops. I told you I weren't. Well, I wasn't using them for that. I was actually using yeah. them for something else. And this is the other thing I was using them for. So you can see he's got the ski on body armor and uh, everything else you need. Yeah. Plus the backpack you get with this with the ski ons or ski yeah, ons. That's quite good. I'm not sure how you're supposed to say it because someone said you said it a different way to the way I said it. We all say it different. Oh, it could be ski Could be. It's just the way that anyone says it, isn't it? Everyone has a different... Well, no, I mean, you don't pronounce, do you pronounce the C? So the old English, you'll sure pronounce you the C, but, but new English, you drop the C. I'm so it sure. becomes scions. Yeah, I'm not sure. So ski um, but old English, it would be skions. So I'm old English, so I'm going to call yeah. them skions. I don't care. I'm really not interested. <laughs> I'm not playing the figures, I think they're stupid. Um, I'm just using them for this. Um, but I think the actual, the, 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 the concept's daft. Right, then we have a... Scion, ski on, whatever, um, with a LAS rifle. It's the slightly improved LAS rifle to the normal LAS rifle. Um, it, it comes from the Scion box, yeah. or ski on box, Scion box. We'll call them Scions. Yeah, of course. Um, and eighteen inch rapid fire one. That's it. So, oh, not, right. not actually a huge difference. No. Uh, as for, ah, it's a minus two AP, so um, it's actually one extra minus two from what you normally get yeah. with the last gun. So, yeah. and it's slightly less range, I think. So, oh, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, that it, it's, it's, it's actually a slightly upgraded yeah, last gun. Yeah, slightly um, upgraded. Yeah, so that's that's fine. That's mm -hmm. fine. Um, and you get the Sion backpack yeah. there, which is great. Was very useful. Um, then we'll come to an officer. This is a standard officer that you get for the uh, Adeptus Abatis. Um, he's got a power sword, which is always useful. Yeah. And then you have a web gun. Now it's really nice that they brought web guns back in. They used to have a lot of old stuff in the older days of really awesome sort of strange weapons that people would carry. Like you'd have a Neuro Disruptor and things yeah, like that, and web yeah, guns. Yeah. Uh, the web guns then died off after about 4th edition. And they've made a comeback for 8th edition, oh, so... Okay. Um, a web gun, 12 inch range, Assault 1. Um, it's a blast weapon that you roll versus your armour. Right. So basically you roll under your armour roll, mm -hmm. and if you succeed in your armour roll, then um, if you fail in your armour roll, uh, your troop is, is basically webbed. Okay. It, it's, it's quite good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, does it make sense? It, yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it makes it, sense. It's, it's a useful, yeah, it, it's a useful sense. thing because it means that um, creatures, unlike uh, if you've got a grav gun, that yeah. works the opposite way. Oh yeah. If it, so, a grav gun, um, it's based on it's a, it's natural gravity weapon. Yeah. So if you fire a grav gun at something and it's a terminator, it's got a save of two plus, okay. which means this terminator would need to say roll a one to not get crushed. Right. Oh, that'd be bad. Yeah, which means <laughs> grav guns are amazing against Terminators, useless against Imperial Guard. Yeah. Because yeah. Imperial Guards are fives and sixes I to get save the meaning, them. yeah. It yeah. Would be quite, yeah. Brilliant gun against heavy troops, yeah. useless against light troops. This is the opposite way around. A Terminator, you're going to need to roll a one to be webbed. A Space Marine is going to need to roll a one or two to be webbed. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, good thing is it also ignores cover, so you don't get that additional cover save um, because it would make it even worse. But, yeah. But um, that means you can web light troops very easily and heavy troops is not quite using it. And that's what the web guns for. Nice. It's great. Which is why he also carries a LAS rifle just in case. Yeah. Right? Because he, need, he needs something to do. Gotcha. Um, lastly, we get on to the combat troops. Now, yeah. The shield is made out of um, the, the stuff you use bases 
Um, the stuff you, uh, when you get 28mm figures um, that aren't Games Workshop, you usually get these sheets of plastic, which are to base the figures on. Yeah. And I just cut them to size and, right. and I bent them, so they're, but curved them. And that's it, that's what the shield is. And it's got the Imperial logo and, or, or the, the, the Thunderbolts and that. Yep. Um, I had to add lib with the backpack for that because I'd run out of backpacks. Yeah. The Power Mall, which you can see, is from the uh, um, the Adeptus Mechanicus box. Right. So that is the Power Mall you get in the Adeptus oh, Mechanicus yeah. box. Oh yeah, that's what it's showing me the other day, won't I? Yeah. Now, I, I hit a problem. Um, I, uh, well, I, I hit a problem and the problem was the Adeptus Mechanicus box only has one mall in it. Yeah. And I'm not using them on the Mechanicus troops because I'm using the power, the power sword and the power mace for the two yeah. types of troops I've got. Um, so in this particular instance, I only ended up with two power malls. Yeah. So I could only equip two troops with power malls, oh. even though I wanted, I wanted to make a full squad of light points. <laughs> I couldn't. Yeah. So I instead went for half a squad. Um, so the rest of the troops, they have a a chain sword. Yeah. which has had the blades cut off to make it look a little bit like it could be a power mall. Um, as time goes on, when I get more boxes of um, Mechanicus, I, I will swap the, I'll cut the blades off and, and, stick, yeah. and stick, a pa stick one of these on so they look really good. Um, that's, that's, that's the, the only option I've really got. Yeah, that. really, it's, it is. It's a bit yeah. of a shame. But, uh, Don't mind. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a bit of a downside to it. Um, so I'll just put them back in line so you get a... So that is the basic infantry. There's another officer here, again with a web gun. Um, I'm really liking the idea of the web gun. It would, it, it, it's it's going to be useful against light troops like large numbers of Tyranids. It's got a 3 inch blast. So yeah. that's anything within 3 inches with a low save roll Not will technically die. Um, they won't really die, they'll just be webbed. Mm -hmm. it, it is designed for riot control after yeah. all, it, it, it's not a combat situation. No, it's not too bad, that actually. Yeah. Um, but against anything else, these guys are going to be in trouble. Um, however, as I said about the old weapons coming back again, um, not only do they have frag grenades, an officer carries a melter bomb, mm -hmm. um, because sometimes you might need to breach a door. Yeah. And so a melter bomb is a normal police weapon which you can use to breach a door or whatever. Therefore, it's also an anti-tank weapon as well. Okay. Right? Molotov cocktail, you can drink. <laughs> you can also yeah, set fire to tanks good. with it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a multi-purpose weapon. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Um, you can also say the same about bread, bread baskets, um, yeah. which is where the Molotov yeah, cocktail came from. Thought, yeah. um, the Russians were dropping bombs on the Finns and the, the Finns said they're bombing us. Yeah. And the Russians said, no, we're not, we're dropping bread parcels. <laughs> And so the, the, the Finns started throwing Molotovs at the, 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 at the Russians and burning them. And the Russians said, they're committing a war crime. They're, throwing, yeah. they're using flame as a weapon. And the Finns said, no, we're sending, sending you cocktails to go with your bread. That's, that's where Molotov cocktail comes from. Really? It's a funny thing. Yeah. Um, so as I said, they've got frag grenades. Um, frag grenades are just a useful all round yeah, anti-personnel weapon. Yeah, anti-personnel weapon. Too. A melter bomb, um, it, it seems like a really high powered weapon, usually only space marine sergeants carry melter bombs. Yeah. But uh, in this case, they're police, they might need to breach, you know, course, breach yeah. a door or yeah. break, break into a, a manhole or, or whatever, or, or stop a runaway train. Uh, you know, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you never know what they could get up to. Yeah. Uh, the other interesting one is the choke grenade. That sounds cool. Um, so most troops carry, most space marines and imperial guard carry a crack and a choke grenade. Yeah. Uh, a crack and a frag grenade. Yeah. Frag for anti-infantry, crack grenade if you stupidly think you can kill a vehicle with it. Right. Good luck. But, you know, it, it's there. Assuming a choke grenade makes you choke. Yes. It, it okay. literally sucks the air out of your lungs. Oh. Um, it converts the air into, um, it, it, it takes the... Um, Carbon oxide, is that? No, what, what, what's our oxygen made out of? Uh, nitrogen. Nitrogen, Na yeah. Nitrogen? Yeah. Nitrogen. No, it's not nitrogen. It's oh. nitrogen. Uh, 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 but most of our air is not oxygen. No, it's right? not. Right, we're very, very tiny amounts. Yes, it's it like is. two parts per million is actually oxygen. That's what we breathe. 
um, and it, it takes away the other part, which yes. means you, even though you can breathe in, you, you, there's nothing there, you can't breathe Yeah, in. that's right. Uh, so that's the choke grenade. Now, this isn't a sort of killing weapon. What it does, it pins the target you've thrown it on, because the target choke, they, yeah. they have the oxygen sucked away from them, um, and it minuses one to their leadership for... Um, you have to roll a leadership test to be pinned. You yeah. minus one from your leadership because if you're tough enough, then you probably get through, through being, being choked because you're going to run through the cloud. Yeah. But yeah, so you have to take a leadership test, but you get a minus one to your lead te leadership test roll. Um, and it, it's a pretty useful weapon when using against troops that don't have. Um, a sealed environment suit. Right. So it would even work against Space Marines because although Space Marines have this wonderful sealed suit that looks awesome, they still have a breather. Right. And their okay. breather will yeah. take out certain toxins and, and, and stuff, but it, it can't cope with the fact that you've just sucked the oxygen out of this yeah. media area. That makes sense. Yeah. So Space Marines will be affected by choke grenades. Right. So okay. that's uh, two dice against your leadership, your leadership's eight. Minus one goes down to seven. You've got a 50-50 chance of stunning a squad of Space Marines. Right. That's actually brilliant. Yeah. That's really useful. Um, so, not great in the long run because the Space Marines will yeah. eventually get up and kill you. Yeah. But, you know, it is yeah. useful. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's merely a pinning weapon useless against anything else, but it's interesting. Yeah. And it will be very useful against troops who don't have breathers of any sort. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Guard and stuff like that. Yep. Um, then we have the shock mole. Um, I've already talked about the shock mole there. It's yep. quite good. I quite like the shock mole. It's my favourite. Um, the shock mole is a standard close combat weapon. Um, you have your body shield. Um, uh, you, it, uh, this shield isn't a storm shield, it's a suppression shield. And that means you get a uh, 3 plus safe because it's a full body shield, you, you put nearly the entire body behind yeah. it. So you get an automatic 3 plus, plus save separate from your normal save. Yeah. Right? So you get a, a 3 plus save, um, you get, um, and however, any weapon with uh, minus 2 AP will go straight through the shield. Okay. So if you've got a weapon that does minus 2 AP, las a las gun, right. you won't get the 3 plus save. No. The las gun will go straight through the shield yeah. as if it's not there and you will just, it will just take you out. Yeah. So um, it's only useful, it's a suppression shield, it's only useful against las rifles, bolt guns, things like that. Yeah. Stubbers, it's no use, in fact stubbers don't get a minus, do they? No. Um, so it's only useful against... Um, light armed troops right. um, but it, it's still a shield and yeah, great exactly. thing about the shield you can put troops behind the shield yeah. so you, your troops are in uh, the shield that acts as a protection for all the troops you've got behind it as well yeah. um, in the same way there's the, uh, the not the storm shield, the boarding shield that the space marines, uh, uh, space marine terminators use yeah. that the terminators behind get the same save as the, the guy holding the shield um, storm shields aren't, they're tiny shields that go on your arm, they just save yeah. you. So that's a, a personal defence shield. Um, boarding shields and these shields are best used for um, when you have large numbers of troops that you can yeah, have behind you. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, right, um, Special rules. Um, units inbound is the special rule you get for these troops, for this army. Yeah. Um, I should actually mention this on in the introduction video to this army. Um, yeah, th this whole army has this special rule, so it applies to not just these troops, but it will also apply to the to dogs, the, the gang command, and the um, servitors, yeah. if they're part of this army. Yeah. So the, the special rule applies to them. However, if the servitors which I'm going to do in another video, um, if you can apply them to Space Marines or anything, yeah. they don't get this rule. Mm. Right? But it, it applies to anything you have in Arbites Ar 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 Army. So yeah. the Arbites could have additional Imperial Guard, or may maybe Planetary Defence Force troops under their command, uh -huh. um, then it would apply to them as well. Yeah. And it's uh, units inbound. 
Um, knowing the streets like the back of your hand and the judges accompanying them can deep strike. Okay. Um, basically, uh, these troops can technically appear anywhere within nine inches of the enemy. Okay. So you don't have to bring them in on, on the edge of the table. Right. Now this is important because there's another rule, which is the thin black line, which is only the HQ and half the troops can be deployed at the start of a game. Right. Because they're police, yeah. um, they have their initial forces there, you can't have your whole army on, on the field. Okay. So if you have four units, you can only have two units. Okay. And the other yeah. two have to come yeah. on later. Yeah. So that means your army is from the very start of the game, you can only have half the troops you bought. Right. Right? That's usually a problem. But you put it together with the units inbound, that means that your troops that are coming in to help can deep strike to your position. Right. Or deep strike to the enemy's position. Yeah. So how it's working in real life is you have a squad of abatis, maybe with mm. a vehicle. Yeah. And a and HQ, I've only got one HQ at the moment, but a yeah. HQ, um, they're, they're, they've found a cultist group and they engage the cultist group in combat. They then get on the radio, the Voxcaster, and they Vox, we need all the units, all the units, right? And then the rest of your army next turn, deep strike into the, onto the battlefield. Okay, yeah. So they're not using technical deep striking rules, so they're not teleporting in, they're not drop podding in or anything like that, they're not air jumping in. Uh, Jetpacking in. Jetpacking, yeah. Uh, they're not doing any of that. They simply know the terrain so well that um, they can appear to the enemy to be deep striking. Okay. Um, so, as far as the enemy is concerned, suddenly a unit appears nine inches away from them. Yeah. And then can engage them. Okay. And, and, and it takes the enemy by surprise, but it's simply because they know the terrain so well. They've yeah. got home field advantage, they know the streets like the back of their hand, they patrol yeah. the streets every day, um, they live here, they know everything, they know the, how the drains work, they know yeah. the, what drain goes under what building, um, they know everything. That gives them that added advantage. Yeah. So, yeah. They, they, so even though they're only allowed half their army at the beginning of a battle, yeah. um, they actually get to deep strike the rest of the army in the next sense. turn. Yeah. Which is actually pretty cool, because yeah. it, it, it looks... Uh, fighting the Abatis, you would see, oh, this tiny little force to yeah. fight. And then suddenly you've got guys appearing everywhere all around you, which can really throw you off, especially yeah. if you're an army like Nurgle or something like that, because uh, Nurgle cannot cope very well with deep no. striking. They don't like it <laughs> because they're a uh, march forward towards the enemy. And if people start deep striking around them, then it breaks their line. And they have to break their own line. Yeah. And if, you, if you break a Nurgle line, Nurgle die. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's basically everything you need to know yeah. about these guys. Yeah. Um, I've gone over the how we made the figures. Um, yeah. You can make the figures any way you want. I've used a mixture of Imperial Guard and Scions, Scions, or Scions, Scions. Yes. Yeah. Old English, Scions. Yeah. You pronounce the C. Yeah, I would say so. It was the Elizabethans who dropped the C. Yeah. Uh, like Boudicca was called Boudicca. Boudicca. So why do people, so people say you, they're not scions, they're, they're, they're not scions, they're not scions, scions, they're, scions. The scions. they're the same people who say it's Boudicca. Yeah. Not Bodicea. Not Bodicea. See, I say Bodicea. Bodicea yeah, because, because that's, that's Bodicea how... is the modern equivalent, linguistically, yeah. of how to pronounce it. Yeah. But if you go back to when it was used, it is Bud Boudicca. That is how you pronounce that makes the sense, though, We changed it? it. So, yeah. yeah. So, for all the people commenting, complaining about how I pronounce things... It's just the way it is. <laughs> go to an expensive university yeah. and all this stuff, you don't need it. This is the first time you ever get to use it. Yeah. Use it. <laughs> how English was formed as a language. Yeah. Um, right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's it. That's the yeah. end of the video. Oh, my dear... God. Emperor. <laughs> God, not Emperor. The throne. No, it's throne. God. God, God. To me. Um, yeah, it's 25 actually, minutes on. Actually, it would be God to you, Hoff, because you're to chaos. Me, you're chaos. chaos. <laughs> right, you to worship the Emperor. Idiot. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. I, I saw you actually. I'm saying. in game mode, me. <laughs> I saw you actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Yes. Um, long live the Emperor. Long um, live it. God. Yeah. Anyway, yes, as you were. Um, yeah, sorry, <laughs> video got on too long. I'm tired, I need to sleep, and yeah. <laughs> I haven't slept. So, thank you very much for watching. Please yes. like, subscribe, or do all the other stuff. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, there'll be more coming soon. What? Outro. Outro, what? You told me not to do it the other day. Oh, alright then. It's a goodbye from me. And a goodbye from him. Goodbye. Bye.